Welcome to the Leith Noise Up show on a day with uh, many items to cover, but um, mainly we'll be covering the funeral of that old lady, the Iron Lady, um, the Better Together problems with their donor, Mr. Ian Taylor, uh, and, the very, and congratulations to um, National Collective for being back up on line and not bowed or cowed by the shocking tactics of the Better Together campaign. Um, the Trident, Stop Trident uh, protest that I went on Saturday and the blockade of Faz Lane on the Monday, which I didn't get to in time, but that's another story. Um, Phil, would you like to start? Well, with the Iron Lady, well, may she rust in peace, as they say, you know. Um, <laughs> well, maybe they, I don't know what she do. Um, well, the whole thing, Yesterday, I went to Dan Hall Miners Welfare Club last night, and apparently that over the whole day they had a great party. There were, there were parties all over the UK, you know, and this whole thing where people are going on about, oh, shock, horror, show, show respect and all that. Well, why? Um, personally, I mean, well, it's a good job this isn't on TV, because I couldn't say what I'm about to say. I said, I would have thrown her in a wood chipper, freeze dried her and fired her into Master's out of space, with a wee apology for Klingons that maybe possibly ran into it, you know. Uh, other than that, good riddance. Yeah. She did, um, she did do a terrible disservice to this country and um, yesterday, one of the clearest summi summary of what was happening yesterday was it was an, a non-stop um, party political broadcast by the Tory party, <sighs> except that I suspect it was going down but rather negatively in Scotland. I mean, <laughs> 80% of the people of this country said in an opinion poll that we shouldn't be paying for this her funeral. Well, the, the, one, the thing I know it was that they're not going to include the cost of the army and the police in their final figure, which they're going to publish after the funeral. Now, well, work it out. What's a policeman on? 15 quid an hour? Oh, they charge more than that, though. Well, say £20 an hour. Mm -hmm. That's £14,000 an hour. That's 700 uh, sorry. Soldiers don't earn much. 2,000 police there, was there not? 4,000 police. 4,000, well, that's eight, 80,000 an hour. Plus, you would have your... Um, it was all the logistics, the the equipment and, and everything. The equipment you had to pay for as well. And you know, I mean, it's just outrageous. I, mean, I can understand the Tories need something to distract us, but that's not a distraction. I mean, all it made you do was think about it. My brother, who came back from Australia on Monday, because my mother's not well, uh, basically took him back to the 80s. Huh? I mean, people that haven't looked at politics since the 80s, when he was a lad, have been tweeting and phoning and, you know, uh, it's just reignited all of that. I mean, it, it did clarify so much for this bedroom tax thing. But it was a total you know? insult to everybody that suffered under Thatcher. Okay. Right back to the it's future, isn't it? Back face. to the future. That's what I mean, it's it, and that was the worse. thing. It was a complete slap in the face to everywhere except the southeast of England. Mm -hmm. Effectively. Well, effectively. You know, I mean, Scotland, the north, of Liverpool, England, you know, the west, the hate of Liverpool, Wales, um, Northern Ireland. People on their uppers or complete slap in ordinary the face. working class people in where that the legislation for that as the the bedroom tax as such is, which was aimed at really four inner London boroughs, these people are going to be sent off to all corners, expelled from there. I mean, you know, and everybody thinks, oh well, somebody's just moving, they're ripping kids out of their schools, they're taking kids away from their pals, but they're just but ripping but whole Phil, things. Phil, Phil, Lon London is going to suffer. All right, but Phil, the, 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 the story, the, 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 the story with Thatcher and the bedroom tax is simple. She sold off the council houses, which was very popular, but they didn't replace them. No, which is why there's a housing crisis. It was illegal. It was actually illegal. Spend, illegal. Yeah. It wasn't a question that's... of there not being enough money to replace house for a house. They made it illegal to replace the houses. Oh, they did? Because they... her theory was if everybody owned property, they'd turn into a Tory. Well, that was true. They didn't get enough. So she, the she, discounts she, wouldn't have allowed them so, to replace... Anyway, so the bedroom one. tax alone went straight back to her. And then you looked at the, as I say, the miners. And you looked at the, the concept, uh, Raymond's Craig, Garkosh, shipyards. The list goes on at Linwood, Bathgate, 
you know, it goes on and on and on. By the record, by the proclaimer's record. Yeah, letter, letter from America. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the list is in there. The, yeah, well, the, so the, join the, the towns in Scotland were, they were ruined mm. by Thatcher. Oh, well, well. I think it, it was this kind of... It was the gloating that wasn't obvious, but you could feel it. We're going to do this and there's nothing you can do about it. Because mm. the fact of the matter is, you're powerless. There's nothing that was that was the, the feeling I had through it all was it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If ninety percent of the people of these islands had said no, it would have gone ahead anyway. No, they were always going to but go ahead. The, the, the worst yeah. thing is, I mean we're blaming the Tories. But who actually put this whole thing in place? Tony Blair. Actually, I mean, who actually solidified it and made it a lot more was actually Gordon Brown. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was Gordon yeah. Brown that, that really got it, and if you watch them, uh, I'm going on to it, some of the highlights actually, which is brilliant, I don't oh, know if anybody's That's been another thing, there's highlight shows of a funeral going on all, all no, the no, rest no, of this week. No, 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 I'm talking about the highlights in entertaining and things you agree with, and most of them, most of them started with a person called George, George Galloway, when he was on the TV and there was that Tessa Jow, um, Ming Campbell, some other non-Tory entity probably sitting there, and they're all acting shocked and how wonderful this is. You know, this is this is an ex-Labour cabinet minister who, to my mind, are, are the most disgusting. Um, and this interviewer, whatever it is, and George just wiped the floor. Galloway just wiped the floor, and then Dennis Skinner was doing a really good job in in the house. But it's all these supine creatures on the Labour side, allegedly the opposition going along with this whole thing and Tony Blair shoving his nose up again, you know, trying to knock um, is it true that to, Is it true that Tony, the first visitor to Downing Street after Tony Blair came into power was Maggie Thatcher? I think he went to visit her, didn't he? He went to visit her to get some, to get some advice on how to deal with foreigners mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing. And then he, yeah, then, he, okay. then he really did start having to go at foreigners, didn't he? I mean, have you seen the body count of that person? Were you going um, to tell that joke to, to or not? Well, which one? There was, there was, um... Frankie Bowles joke. Well, one of the first Frankie Bowles jokes I thought was absolutely brilliant, and that was it. He says, you know, he says, I've always wanted to wear my black suit with my tap shoes. With his right? what? With his tap shoes, right, right okay. you know? Um, and then he said he was... But after all that banter, you know, and um, Frankie Bowles said when he was watching the, the funeral that he was really emotionally moved. No, he didn't think he'd get emotional. Yeah, yeah, but he was surprised that yeah. he did get emotionally moved. And he was, he says he was that surprised and he was that moved that he got hard on. Okay, that's um, the joke. Yeah, <laughs> that was your joke that you told me, but it was Frankie Ball's joke. Right, uh, let's move on to a little, he bit, tells him that. a little bit of success. Um, there's been, a, for a fortnight, two weeks ago, um, the Better Together campaign announced mm. all their benefactors, who was giving them the money. And uh, they announced it the same, it, it was announced overnight, Saturday night, Sunday morning. The social media was totally obsessed with a, a, a Nazi version of the, the saltire, the Scottish flag that was put up by um, Scotland on Sunday that day, at that point. And very few people noticed till later in the day, that's just what, had, what was really the story, which for the time, National Collective, well we explained it in last week how how uh, Graham noticed it first early on the Sunday morning and we followed it up and anyway the story is there to, if you check out how we outed Ian Taylor. National Collective, a very worthy uh, collective of artists for independence, published a summary of the situation of this, how bad this guy is, how the dirty money that he's spent, but without not going into all the details, we've already covered all that. But anyway, they threatened National, Ian Taylor, the chief executive of the biggest oil company in the world, Vito, threatened um, legal action against Na National Collective for their summary of the situation. And for the last fortnight, they've kind of, for 10 days, they've been off it, oh, they took their whole site down. They're back up today saying boo to you, Ian Taylor, and boo to you, Better Together, demanding answers why the Better Together campaign are taking dirty money from this man. And well done to Na National Collective. But the, the main thing with that dirty money is, and the link, which I was really surprised when you see, well, characterless people like Alistair Darling, who, who, who refers to this guy Taylor as Ian. You know, he's obviously taught them and he's very friendly with them and he's managed to get half a million quid. And it's that association with Arkan. And every, I mean, one of the. I mean, war, I mean, Arkan's yeah, a warlord. War, uh, warlord, 
in the old and Yugoslavia. A Serbs warlord, he makes Maladic war and Karadic look no bad. Uh, or not as bad. Uh, just evil rather than thoroughly evil. And this guy, Taylor, well, he was the chief executive, and of course they said, well, I was chief executive, so I don't really know what's going on in my company. But they gave a million pounds to Arkan. This is the guy that entered a... million dollars. A million dollars. Entered a hospital um, and murdered the 250, 250 patients. Allegedly. 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 But don't, that, there's no link between the million dollars and, 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 the, and the 250 million. No, the whole point is they're associating with that. You're associating with that kind of creature. Um, and they've done this all over the work with Iraq, you know, with, with Saddam Hussein. Yeah, okay, but, but it's quite fine for the better. But Phil, we've covered all this. What we've got to see is well done. A lot done, of people well, out there well, well done, that. No, well the, done to the National important, Collective. The important thing about it was there was an awful lot of us who saw it go down. Now, wings stayed up. Wings over wings Scotland. Wings over Scotland stayed up and just told them basically to bugger off. Um, but when I saw National Collective going down, I, it worried me. Mm. It really worried me. Then luckily, following National Collective, I should add here and make a big point of it, the Herald we mentioned. Robin Din Dinwoody kept, yeah. kept, kept, kept going with it. So they, they've been kicking away at it and they received letters as well. But strangely enough, Kenny Farkasson of the Scotsman, who is no big fan of, in, of, of independence, of, of independence um, showed support, as did you and McCall. Did he? McCall. Okay. Um, so, you know, at that point I thought, well, maybe what we're going to see here is a united front from the media. Never happened. <laughs> never, never. You know, the, the BBC line. barely covered it. And it was lightly mentioned. Mm. But the really interesting one is the result of it is, a, is an, an accusation of a smear campaign from the Better Together campaign directed at the SNP who are apparently leading this campaign. <laughs> the Better Together campaign have come up with some quite interesting stuff. One questionnaire that had some insults scribbled on it and a Facebook comment so far. Um, I saw quite a good tweet about Aunt, uh, Alison Darling going into the office and somebody had turned his swivel chair down two inches and that counts as smear campaign. <laughs> uh, Blair of <laughs> went on national television and made these accusations. No, I'm sorry, it's let's sue them. Prove it. Are they allowed to go around saying that Alex Salmond is heading up a smear campaign against them? But this was purely and simply to distract from the fact that they're taking money off a guy who has dubious connections. Well, that, He's really. been, his company has been found guilty of grand larceny, fined seventeen and a half million dollars in the USA. I could go on and on, but it's certainly it's congratulations to National Collective getting back up online today. They held a press conference in Glasgow. Anas Sar, no, Anas Awar, I'm not very Anas Awar. Uh, uh, Kind of human rights lawyer. Human rights lawyer in Glasgow. He's been, yeah. he's, he represented them, and uh, we have to say, well, it's a, it's a big, it's a big win for the S campaign. It's a big. Uh, and if you haven't four, read, if you haven't read the report, if they haven't read the report, you can go. Well, up. the links are all there on. There's loads above. of links all no, over the place. Very still, interesting. The links are all and there on. All that, mo that money they're taking, while they might say this isn't associated, we need mixed with the types of Taylor. All that money comes the from misery, the question, destruction and death. The question you have to ask is why would Ian Taylor, an international oil trader, want to give half a million pounds to the Better Together campaign? He doesn't live in Scotland, he has Scottish parents for sure. He wasn't born in Scotland? Well, we're not sure if he was or not. No, he, 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 that's public knowledge as well. He wasn't born in Scotland. Well, I couldn't find any. He's, he's not entitled to vote here at all. But why is he giving half a million? What's in it for him? Because these guys do not give away half a million quid unless they're going to get influence. When he gave to the Tory party, he ended up having dinner with David Cameron at Downing Street. Now he's and giving to the ex-chancellor of the Exchequer. He's giving with to the ex-chancellor of the To sell oil, to, to, or to buy or sell oil to Libya before the well, Libya war was over. Interesting, it turns out that they have contracts for fracking. 
Hmm? In the Fourth Valley. That's right. In Scotland. Well, they're pretending it's not for fracking. They're pre pretending at this stage it's just for, it's for a methane. recovering, uh, methane. recovering methane gas. But uh, everybody suspects that uh, there'll be fr well, fracking. I'm, I'm corrected by Stuart. Could this possibly be a reason? We'll see. Well, if you have, well, going, going back to what Norrie was saying there about, uh, you know, we released meeting with Alistair Darling. Now you're thinking, why would they meet? What, what do they have? Alistair Darling was a member of a war cabinet um, that declared an illegal war on a sovereign country called Iraq. Then, and Ian Taylor... They're not going to stop him. He's going to have to list it. Ian, Ian Taylor... They won't, no, no, but Ian Taylor is sitting in there, as you said, the chief executive of the largest oil company. Now, I wonder how much money they're getting out of a destroyed Iraq now. And, you know, if the ex-chancellor of the Exchequer and his other war criminal buddies in that last cabinet didn't have something to do with it. Yeah. Have a look at their bank balances. Absolutely. Right, now, I'll, 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 over the weekend there, I had an interesting weekend. I went to Glasgow with uh, <coughs> Alex, who's not here this week. He's walking in, in Kent, luckily him. Lucky for him, it's probably a nice, nice, nice sunny day there. And uh, I'll went, like here. there were 3,000 people turned up for a rally in George Square, which is the largest they've had for quite a long time against Trident. And uh, we marched along St. Vincent Street, down Brownfield Street, along the Gale Street and up Queen Street, shouting, Maggie, 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 deed, deed, deed. And the, all the shoppers kept looking at us, a bit strange. But it, it was quite a decent uh, march. And um, I'm, I'm thoroughly, you know, thoroughly It's a great chunk. It. Yeah, it was great. And, you know, it was like being back in the 80s, right enough, because with people were shouting, you know, Maggie, 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 out, out, out. Yeah, and dead, dead, dead sounds a lot yeah, better. I was, I was, anyway, I was, I was pleased with myself on that. Um, on the Monday, I had planned to go uh, catch a bus at half past four in the morning and go to Faslane and, and get arrested for blo blockading it. Unfortunately, I overslept. And in my naivety, I thought, well, I'll just catch a train to Gaylock Head, which is only a couple of miles from Faslane, and, and, and get there. Of course, I hadn't thought about the fact was that, of course, they wanted to be there really early to catch the morning shift going in at whatever time they go in, between six and eight o'clock or something. Which, I never got there till 10, so to be honest, I didn't, there was no point in getting arrested, because I'd have only been arrested for, well, I'd been on my own. Been a malingerer. Or whatever. <laughs> oh, I, that, one of our local councillors. Oh, uh, Charles Booth, he got Charles lifted. Booth, yes, he got himself lifted. I've seen, seen the photograph, in fact, I posted it. Um, he looks extremely happy. I wonder if he'll put that on his next election. Anyway, congratulations. They did actually blockade the, the, yeah, the, the, the South Gate for two hours and ten minutes. Congratulations to everybody that did get, get there in time. Yeah, <laughs> and good one, Chaz, as well. Good effort. Yeah, yeah good, good effort. Anybody else got another rant before we finish today? Not really. I mean, it's been so dominated by the Deed Witch. Yes. Ding I mean, dong. Clicking through the BBC yesterday. Maybe yeah, this year. Everything. There was no news yesterday. The deal's away that nobody can you pronounce. Know, Obama, Obama receives a letter full of rice got. Ten seconds, mm -hmm. and the rest of it was. A ballot right of uh, celebration. It's going to be worse. It's going to have, we're going to have the That's high. It. They, somebody sent a letter to Obama and one other senator yeah. with traces of ricin. Or did they just make that up? No, no. Well, no, no, I don't think so. They've, they've, they've arrested some guy for yeah. it. Well, what we didn't we didn't cover Boston. Boston. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was. Um, it's a, it's quite shocking the amount of coverage one bomb. Um, which killed three people in Boston gets compared to uh, how countless bombs in Iraq. Oh, don't mention these Syria. foreigners. Everybody knows they don't count. Well, they're any, they're any foreign children, aren't they? Uh, we had our own wee mini, what would you call it, trauma in Leith with a guy who jumped out the window with the back of Tesco's. Was a guy, middle of the afternoon. Somebody we know was standing there when it happened. He was at the cash line machine and the security guard said to him, was that a body? No, no, I don't think it was. Mm -hmm. Oh, so from Leith Walk? So it's all uh, the ones that we stole on from the Spain. Yeah. Uh, so that was all shut off. Um, oh, well, I haven't another, got the full story. Another yet, statistic. But the gist is that the guy had mental health problems. Now, why yeah. do I think that he'd had his benefits? No, I don't know yeah. this. We don't know yet. We, 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 we don't, don't know. know. I just wonder. And I, but, we well, could be looking at the first of many. Well, look, guys, um, I think we should wind up this week. It's been... But just... It, yeah, of he's off again. No, we're, uh, I'm running out of space. Oh, yeah. Just that quick one that, that, that Obama today 
is having some kind of memorial service for these three victims and he's signing off drones to murder children in other countries. That's true. And he lost his vote He's such for a nice man. Gun control. Isn't he? Yes, he lost his vote last night in the Senate for to to to, to try and stiffen the gun and control. Isn't he so nice? Right then guys, thank give you very much. Bucket, give me a bucket, please. Yes, yeah, thanks very much for um, taking part and uh, thanks for watching and listening and uh, goodbye. <laughs>